Hey guys, welcome to another episode. The reason we have to speculate so much is that they don't tell us their plans. Uh, mankind divided. Brief episode had a uh, abrupt ending because my video driver crashed. Not sure what that was all about. We are continuing the main story today by meeting this. with Smiley. But before doing so, I was just checking out uh, the backstories of all these people uh, in the TF. Pessimistically optimistic. The commuter system in Toronto has been shut down after two trains collided. You already heard that one? We were talking with Rucker. Or no, with Duncan McCrady, I think. No, we already talked with these people. We found where the mystery group from Dubai had its staging area. Unfortunately, yeah. now that it's just random. That guy in the previous episode said something else. So the dialogue is very varied. Apparently, it's not really linked to a person. Just a bit random. Right, where is that guy we were talking to? Crazy about Chang. Sometimes you think you know someone. I wonder how well Director Miller knows any of the people he's got working for him. You wouldn't believe how many of us in cybercrimes are ex-cons. Chang got a sweet deal from the task force. When they busted me, I still had to do six months probation. Chang got a sweet deal from the task force. When they busted me, no matter how fast I still we had chase to do after six months the bad probation. guys are always one step ahead because they're not bound by any rules. Apparently there's some new kind of biological weapon out there. It sounds horrible and it's got terror groups all over the world very excited. Right. Salvatore Lumbino, Ryan, Jamal, Carrie, yeah. Stetko, Richard Matheson, yeah. Susan Pitcher, K. Richard Phillips, Maxime Suchet, Vince Black. That's the only name I for now recognize. Nick Pizzoletto, Eli Wachowski, Brian Vogan, Ed Brubaker, Richard Stark. Richard Stark also rings a bell. <laughs> this place has all kinds of rumors flying around. She has the same dialogue as uh, in the previous episodes. Right. These people I also already talked to. Wouldn't catch me going in there. The bank I used to work at was paranoid about security. Their NDA was the size of a novella. Security was so tight, I'm surprised they let us sleep with the lunch counter food still in our bodies. It's all about keeping your concentration. I really don't hear in the previous episodes neither what she said in their last sentence. Security was so tight, I'm surprised they let us sleep with the lunch counter food still in our bodies. With the lunch counter fit still in our bodies. Security was so tight, I'm surprised they let us sleep with the lunch counter food still in our bodies. I'm surprised they let us save with the lunch. Security was so tight, I'm surprised they let us sleep with the lunch counter food still in our bodies. Alright, I have no clue what she said. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. they let us slave with the lunch counter fit still in our bodies. I got a bad feeling about this. Alright, but I'm still missing that one guy, the greedy or something. Pretty sure he was around here somewhere. Ah, here he is. This is where the hey, piece Jensen, is. I'm busy. Get lost. Help you with something, Jensen? I heard you were on point looking into the gold mask mercs from Dubai. How's that going? You should be more concerned with your own investigation, mate. Especially now that you've evaporated your only fucking lead. You got something you want to say to me? Your orders were to bring Rucker in alive so we could sweat him for the bombings. That's not gonna happen now, is it? What happened? You get a taste for blood in 27. You know, your ignorance is exceeded only by your charm, McCready. Is that a fact? You think you know me? I'm starting to get a pretty good picture of your type, yeah. You don't know shit. I could say the same about you. Look, I've got work to do, Jensen. So if you don't mind... Why do you have such a problem with me, McCready? You don't even know me. Oh, I think I do. I've worked with your type 
before you roll into barracks with your solid state muscle think you're more capable than the rest of us slobs you're afraid of being replaced <laughs> please mate they broke the fucking mold when they made me besides I think it's been proven that there's no substitute for good old-fashioned organic clockworks. So, again, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Men, what an asshole. So no all can ever live down the incident, is that it? Is this meant to be an interrogation, Mr. Shit-Hot Ex-Cop? Because you're dancing on my last fucking nerve. You afraid it's gonna happen again? Listen, Frankenstein, I lost three men. Good men, because one of you fucking robots had his switch. I warned you about pushing it, didn't I? Still, that was unprofessional. Look, I just... We all lost something during the incident, some more than others. But the people responsible are still out there, and they need to answer for what they did. I'm not asking you to be friends, but we can't stop them as enemies mismatched tools bound by a common goal. Is that it? Something like that, yeah. How maybe that is all we need. I suppose we just let time tell. Right. I'll see you around, McCready. Sure. Alright, that was a pretty cool um, dialogue, ending more positive. Maybe you could work your investigation. I expect it. Let's tell him a little bit more. You forget something. Ah, there are more um, the dialogue options. Have you gotten word from Singh? He managed to turn up anything in the desert? He's back in Basra now, digging where he can, but he might as well be kicking over stones. So far, he's come back with sweet FA. No, that's too bad. Yeah, well, what can you do? Hurry up and wait. Isn't that the old soldier's credo? You mentioned me being an ex-cop. You reading up on me? Someone new rolls in, I like to brush up on them. I like to know who I've got standing next to me. So you weren't looking for character weaknesses you could exploit? Despite my tone and attitude, mate, I'm not a bully. I just have ridiculously high standards of people who might end up with my life in their hands. So do I pass muster? Decorated SWAT, head of security for Sarif Industries. It's an impressive jacket. After the incident, there is a black hole about a year wide. It gives me some pause. <coughs> told. What happened there? I stepped away from the work. I needed to refocus. Yeah, I get that. Believe me. Well, look, I've got a shitload of work to do, so if there isn't anything else... I'll let you get back to what you were doing. In a minute, but first... You forget something. Uh, no. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. No new options. All the largest and most secure data archiving vaults in the world. Sport, snap, the six precious seconds in sports. Game over. Sources close to the bank tell me that no hacker has ever come close to breaching the blade's defenses, despite an almost astronomical number of attempts. Alright, so I think I pretty much exhausted all the dialogue options in this area. Why are people still worried? Never mind. Why does the director have like a heater on his desk? Let's turn it off. Turn it off without messing up all the boxes. All right, let's finally get to Smiley. This guy really looks his uniform. Really reminds me of. Um, Half-Life 2. Combine uniforms. Right, where are you smiling? The commuter system in Toronto has been shut down after two trains collided. Already heard that one. 
There he is. All right, here we go. Progress in the yes. mission. Yes. All right. Somebody is doing some research. Oh, hey. Adam, what's going on? Miller sent me to... Check on my progress? Really? I said it would be done when it's done. We can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So... Well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like Bomb's timing mechanism. And get this, it's a Stanic. A Stanic? The Bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... Using a low-tech solution is really clever. Stanic watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Hmm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Yeah, got it. Nomad Stanic, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. Thanks. Pilgrim Station 96. Great, let me know how it goes. I really like that because this means you can actually get there, number 96 second floor, without any hut or map. This is really what I like. This is so much more immersive. It really forces you to get to know the game world, so to say, the city. Um, so we have a new objective, I assume. Find Nomad Stanek. Smiley discovered that the timing mechanism used to detonate the terrorist bombs came from a custom made wristwatch. Um, now I need to find Nomad Stanek, the watchmaker. He owns a shop nearby, but he lives in the Daphne district on the second floor of building 96. Alright, there we go. Of course, the police still fly now. The Palisade Bank has been having some hacker trouble lately. Four times in the last 24 hours, someone's tried to access the property bank's vault directly. They haven't been successful. Something about the attempts has me suspicious. Right, new dialogue. I was monitoring electricity usage across the city, and I came across it. Chasing the White Rabbit led me to Nathaniel Brown, CEO of Santo. According to the net, the guy's a saint. So of course I tapped my resources, asked them what they knew about Brown. Nothing. No one's this clean without a dirty past. All right, this is a new dialogue. Last week, a truck working for Tai Young Medical got hijacked. A bunch of AUG insulation tech was stolen. So far, in spite of the increased load, our systems are holding. Thank God. I'm very worried about how our network is going to perform after several hours of gathering data on the death of Talos Rucker. New one? So there's a lot of dialogue over here. The commuter system in Toronto has been shut down after two trains collided. <clears throat> Dwindling resources for augmented criminals is leading to an increase in arrests. When crooks are forced to rely on black market augs, and then those augs crack down on them, it makes the police's job that much easier. New one. Because of the latest bombing, coordinating security for odd related functioning oh, just became exponential. Every half hour, I run a check on the drones in Gollum City. If the drones in Gollum go nuts and kill a bunch of augmented, the cops can just blame it on mechanical failure caused by the rioters. New one. I've been pulling intel on this Marchenko, but nothing adds up. 
It's like he didn't exist before the incident, but that's impossible. The guy's in his 40s. He has to be here somewhere. How am I supposed to get anything done? Sorry, gents. Love to help you. But thanks to Chang's hang-up with password security, I've been locked Probably out of the system now. again. This is official. I was monitoring electricity usage across the city, and I came across an anomaly. I was monitoring electricity usage across the city, and I came across an anomaly. Yeah, we've seen it already. Facing the White Rabbit led me to Nathaniel Brown, CEO of Santa. I've been combing the files of people close to Talus Rucker to see who's most likely to feel the leadership factor. Having an NSN and then not using it to gather intel in a crisis like this is just a waste. When I think of everything the task force could be doing but isn't doing, it makes me wonder what's really going on here. I was studying some old forum traffic about the Collective, and I found a disturbing rumor about someone who works here. I guess I should report what I found to Director Miller, but if I'm wrong about a task force operative having a criminal past, I could ruin that person's career. Right, there were two new ones. So many buildings were left vacant after the incident that it's easy for terrorist groups to find a place to hide. A disused missile silo in Russia, an abandoned auto plant in Detroit, a former geological research facility in Switzerland. With our leaderless, things will only escalate further. Nobody wins. I'm close to a real breakthrough on the collective. Nobody thought of this before, but I think Janus employs flesh and blood operatives on site to make more difficult hacks feasible. <clears throat> Jim Miller is in Gollum City personally for the riots. And I'm the lucky the guy he chose to monitor cam. his movements. If I see someone about to attack the director on my monitors, I don't think I'm going to be able to warn him in time. <coughs> I've lost track of how many people have been killed in the past few hours. Alright, that's pretty much it. Some new... Some that were already in the previous I was episode. looking into old news reports about anti-AUG violence, and your name came up. Alright, I have to stop it. Um, let's get to Pilgrim Station. <coughs> By the way, let's first do a little roleplay. Jensen also needs to use the toilet. Maybe do a number two. Ah, credits. Hey, check it out. Um, original message contents. Okay, I'm ready. My end. Phase 4 reset started rolling last night. If you need to check if any errors were reported and I'm not at my station, you can get on the main console using CLOT 04 SFD 8S. Sorry, if I was writing two messages at the same time, I sent the wrong one. Luckily, it was to you and not everyone. IT password reset from Zhang Gai Kuchie. Right. I was not aware that the toilet held stuff. Uh, I'm not sure whether we read this one already. Forensic team attacked the Ritsika station. Terrorists struck the bomb out shell of Terror struck the bombed out shell of Ritsika train station a second time today when an unidentified augmented assailant broke through police cordons and savagely attacked forensic investigators. Now, I think we already read this. This refers to Adam himself. State police have yet to reveal how many of their teammates were injured or killed, but witnesses have described the bloodbath. The motive behind the second attack is unclear, yet sources close to the investigation believe the man may have been working for yesterday's terrorists. He was likely trying to remove key evidence related to the bombing, said police spokesman Alexei Volk. The killer's whereabouts remain unknown at this time. He is believed to have escaped via subway tunnels leading to downtown, most likely by using his opens. State police are offering a generous reward to any non augmented citizens whose information leads to an arrest. Or seek at station will remain closed indefinitely. Augmented reporter found murder at Prague Editorial. State police are investigating a grisly murder in Prague's Prakaska district tonight. Local augmented reporter Angela Gunn, best known for a number of well received political exposés, was found dismembered in an alley. Citizens are reminded to be vigilant and remain in secure, well lit areas at night. Right, I do think we already read that one. But if the male toilet <sighs> has items, 
and hopefully the female one does as well. People don't pay much attention to me, so I see all kinds of things they wouldn't want anyone else to know about. I don't know why you go into the ladies' room and I don't want to know. It's your business. Just make sure no one else sees you. You're in the ladies' room yourself, miss. I do like it that um, his dialogue is related to the location of Adam, referring to the ladies' room. Nothing here, but it was worth a try. Here we go. Where is the exit? Daniel Fletcher, he actually did a smiley behind his name. Pretty funny. I will put on the microwave so people can get a hot dog. societal divides that you can see. Holy shit, another bombing. Man, this is such a cool game. It's throwing a curveball. Where was that bombing? Over here, right? <laughs> Alright, I have no clue. I did see something blow up and I heard something. Ah, here we go. Ah, that is the watchmaker. So we have the I had a hope to go to, I'll be hiding there right now. We do not believe this is a terrorist act, but for your safety, you should leave. The you should leave. This area is off limits for people yeah, like you. Yeah. No one wants you here. Alright, I would like to check out that storage locker. Can I also close this door? Ah, you're kidding me. Why can't I get into that other garage?
Alright, maybe I have to code from somewhere. I don't even need to hack. If I need to hack, he will probably shoot me. Everyone just go take your freak show somewhere else. Yeah, that's the problem. If I I will Everyone just try it. Go I'm home. We're pretty sure that he will shoot me if I start hacking. Are handling this. Maybe not, let's just see. Stay out of other people's business. Don't even think yeah, that's what I mean. And I cannot take him out with all this these people. This is an active crime scene. Watch Please him. move away. I think um, if other citizens see you do stuff, then uh, they will uh, get the police. Everyone, just go home. We are they see you this. do a criminal act. So uh, that will make it really hard to take on this guy. This is an active crime scene. They say hackers are everywhere. Not here. Protect your business security data. Have a safe. garbage. The Red Queen. Ah, 
Alpha. If you've got the crap. I'm the funny guy, not you. <laughs> Here, these are Diwali guys. Get lost. Right, right. There are actually more apartments here. There's also an apartment at the first floor. Like so? Get them alone in the room. No, ah, yes. here we are. Huh? Oh shit, what was that? Sorry, I mean your house. This really looks like an uh, apartment I already cleared out earlier. see if I close this whether if I get experience points then I did not read it yet before and then probably I was not here before yet uh, yeah. I think we already read this one by Johnny Gum for NGA I took pleasure in screwing you over so much senseless time. I took pleasure killing in the quiet was kindness of a kind. My hands are Sunday's best, my brave new feet I only might. This is Eliza Gasan. Yeah, I didn't get any Don't stay bottled up for our I didn't get any experience so probably I will check out that one. What was this swan here? Ah that was that cleaning uh, company that acted as cover for I think the drug in this game. I forgot its name. Not neuropathy, but the party drug. Neon, I think. They were a cover for some kind of a neon smuggling operation. Alright, did we need 96? Yes. Alright, the door has been forced. <coughs> Stanley's apartment. Smiley discovered that the timing mechanism used to detonate the terrorist bombs came from a custom made wristwatch. Now I need to find Norman Stanley, the watchmaker. He owns a shop nearby, but he lives in a Daphne district on the second floor of building 96. No more. 
for wars, wake up, stop the new world order, order, think of the children, oil, stop the drills. Alright, he probably doesn't need money anymore. Tech at that magazine. Technology trends trends for the 21st century. Top rated articles this month. Where are they now? An exclusive interview with David Sarif. We discussed the future with the founder of Sarif Industries. Stairway to Heaven, Space Elevator Project, Page Industries. Orbiting Resort once again on hold. Looking into the future. Is nanotechnology viable? What did we learn from the failure of mechanical enhancements? Two steps back, living with prosthetics in a post hoc incident world. Rabbi, the most technolo technologically advanced city on the planet, but is it for you? Tales from the dark net, going ultra deep in the deep web. A guide to staying anonymous and connected, plus an in-depth point-by-point look at what the human restoration really means for you. This issue's you vote question. Santo, savior or Satan? Alright, again no experience points. I think I may have also already checked out this apartment. Video game console, home entertainment. Hotel Entertainment and Technology. Pretty nice sized screen. By the head of the Department of Sociology at Harvard, Dr. Stansfield Christensen. To speak with you, Doctor. Uh, we've already solved that one. Nuclear Snake Part 1 by Francis Pritchard. Ah, that's Smiley, I think. So he really is an aspiring novelist. Praha Hospital, built for patient stomach nomads. X-ray laboratory feed, telephone, hundreds, whatever they have in Czechia for telephone, dressings, maternity room, care, baby, visitors, goats, visitors, meal, special laboratory products, first aid, joint amendment surgery, 9030. Bills payable presentation one week in advance, reports. Any inaccuracies at all this promptly receive payments. God damn it. Medical bills, they can kill you. Nice countertop. Looks like marble. Not sure what that item is. to open the cupboards but they are either already opened or can't be opened right little side room with again the detail is amazing but some textures are just too clean and they don't mix with the environment very well just like those oh those uh, paint cans, they're way too uh, oversaturated, such a shame, it's so easy to fix it, just desaturate it a little bit and it's, you're fine. Biospeed boosters, restore a computer to its original form. Hey. For 
forgot the word. What the hell is the word for that? Uh, which enlarges items. Not a telescope, but... Uh... Man, how can I forget? Not a magnifier glass. Of course, it is a magnifier, but more of a professional one. Alright, one moment, just curious, making it a learning moment. Laboratory instruments. Microscope, of course. Yes, how could I forget? We have a microscope over there. Speed just got faster. Right. I think there may be something hidden behind the painting or something. Let's try to find it without augmentations. Trying to interact. Cool gray. Trying to interact with paintings and stuff. Ah, we have another room over there. Here. There are two more rooms actually. Microwave oven. Alright, yes, this is a watchmaker for sure. M. Lanoi. Moon Space Station 6. a little bit big I must say compared to the hate of Jensen Saraf Industries has gone bankrupt and been summarily taken over by Taiyang Medical He is pretty funny by the way this uh, station Let's listen a little bit to him become a monopoly that's in control of the most dangerous weapons on the planet. I warned you years ago about production equaling destruction, that the factory line T-model-esque production levels of this uncontrolled technology would lead to worldwide destruction thanks to Sarah. I warned you that the lack of supervision over the drug pushers would lead to mass hysteria and murder. Then, when the two of them collided on that fateful day two years ago, look what we ended up with. Exactly what I said. Murder! Murder that we are still paying for, both emotionally and practically today. Now the tech loonies and the neuropodope dealers are basically one and the same. Add the new world power that is organized crime, who have a black market that is arguably bigger than the white one, and you have the makings of Armageddon. You worry about the odds on the street who carry the little sticks, but you let these corporations who act as individuals rights holders wield the broadsword. How does this make any sense, you fucking garden tools? Wake up! I'm not sure whether we heard that one before. 
Last time I listened to him was like seven or eight months ago. It's been a while. this further in the next episode guys hope you enjoyed hope to see you there for the meantime do not forget to always do keep on gaming later